Hello everybody, welcome back, this is Daisy. In today's tutorial, you're going to learn how to make a layered cake topper using the new offset feature from Krika Design Space. This one is going to be a very simple process, but we're going to create a beautiful, good quality cake topper. And for this project, we're going to need cardstock. I like to use the 110 pounds so we have a very sturdy cake topper. It can be solid colors, metallic, with design, or with glitter. And we're going to need clear glue. It can be liquid or you can use the tape runner. I like the tape runner because it's less messy. And if you're going to use clear glue, I recommend you to buy a glue pen because it's easier to apply and it's not messy. And if you wish to make a 3D cake topper, I recommend you to buy this adhesive foam dot. They come in different sizes and they also come in squares. I like the circle ones. Also, you're going to need wooden sticks and a hot glue gun. Before we start with the process, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and like my video. And let's start with the design. Let's go to text. Let's go to fonts. And let's look for a beautiful font. This time I'm going to be using Sweetie Almira. Now let's go to letter space and put the letters together like that. You can make a variety of cake toppers over here. You can make them for birthdays, weddings, baby showers, etc. So this word over here looks a little simple. We're going to add some details to the letter O and the letter H. That's why I like this font, Sweetie Almira, because it has flourished letters. And to access to those letters, we need to go to Character Map. I'm going to link this program below so you can access to it. It's a free program. Since we're working with Sweetie Almira in Cricut Design Space, when we go to Character Map, we need to look for the same font. So let's look for a letter H that has some detail. Let's see. I like this one. Copy and let's go back to Krika Design Space. Let's select the H and press Ctrl V. See, it looks different. Now let's do the same with the letter O. Let's go to character map and let's look for a O. This one, I like this one. Let's copy and let's go back to Krika Design Space. Select the O and press Ctrl V. See, now it looks different. Let's press the lock and make it a little longer. Now let's weld. Now let's go back to fonts again and here we're going to change the font. We're going to use a different one for the number. Let's try that one. Now let's make it bigger, ungroup, put it together, press the lock, make it a little longer, and now we're going to put it together with the letters on top. Now 
Now that we have it the way we need, we're going to select both layers and weld. So now we're going to have only one layer. Now let's work on the layers using offset. Let's press offset over here and here we can regulate the size of the layer. If we want it thicker, let's go to the right. If we want it thinner, let's go to the left. Going to leave it like that and apply. So now we have two layers. Now we can change the color on that one. The one in the front is going to be gold. And the one in the back is going to be black. Right now I'm working on a very simple one, but if you wish, you may add more layers to this one if you need. Like for example here, we can go back to offset and apply. See, we have three layers over there. If you need to add three layers. We can change the color again. Look. Obviously, this is not the color that is going to look when we cut it. I'm just trying to find something similar, but I'm going to cut it on glitter cardstock. Now that we have it ready, select both layers and try to make it smaller than 12 inches. So in this case, it's going to be eight and a half inches. And make it. So here we have the two layers. The color black is the first one that cuts. Let's continue. And over here is going to give us the option to select the material that we're going to cut. These ones over here are my favorites, are the ones that I use the most. But if you don't have them or if you don't find them over here, let's go to browse all materials and type the material that you need to cut. In this case, I'm going to be cutting glitter cardstock. So let's type glitter cardstock. You see here that the star is orange. It's because I already have it on my favorite. And if you're going to be cutting this material a lot, I recommend you to press on the star and select and done. So you can have it here on your favorite. Select glitter cardstock. Now let's proceed to cut the material. Now we're going to assemble the cake topper. Like I mentioned before, we're going to use clear glue, either a glue pen or a tape runner. Right now, I'm going to be using a tape runner. And if you wanna make a 3D cake topper, you may use adhesive foam dots.
Now we're going to place the wooden sticks on the back. If the cake topper is too heavy or big, I recommend you to use two sticks. This one is not heavy or big, so I'm just going to use one. Here is the beautiful layered cake topper. As you can see, it was very easy to create this cake topper using the new offset feature from Cricut Design Space. I hope you enjoy learning to elaborate this beautiful cake topper. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I also would like to invite you to visit me on my Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Feel free to share all of your projects. I cannot wait to see what you created. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.